News you count on. NBC2 News at 5.30. A nonprofit is asking sugar companies to drop a lawsuit over a reservoir being built to filter water from Lake Okeechobee. Captains for Clean Water says the lawsuit could put an end to the Everglades restoration project. Thank you for counting on NBC2. I'm Kelly Burns. And I'm Peter Bush. The nonprofit has already collected 5,000 signatures in the past 12 hours. Tonight, NBC2's Muhammad Abdul Kowi is at the Collaboratory in Fort Myers looking at why Big Sugar doesn't like this project. We did everything we could from a legal perspective on this. Daniel Andrews, the founder of Captains for Clean Water, created a petition yesterday that 5,000 people signed so far. They want Big Sugar to drop lawsuits against the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Starting in 2021, three sugarcane corporations filed three different lawsuits to have water from the EAA reservoir south of Lake Okeechobee. The reservoir is meant to restore and protect South Florida's waters. Most people are unaware that this, these lawsuits even existed, so we realized there was an awareness piece to this. This lawsuit aims to allow the sugar industry to have public water for themselves. If Big Sugar wins this case, Andrew said this will cause a massive roadblock. So that would um, lessen the, the benefits we get out of it for reducing discharges, potentially eliminate any benefits out of it. Uh, and this is a you know, two and a half billion dollar taxpayer funded project. Right now, all Andrews can do is sit and wait to see what happens next. We're awaiting any time this spring, uh, early summer for, for there to be some movement in the court and just felt like it was the right thing to do to, to lead an awareness campaign and, and to quantify opposition to the suits. This case is still pending for the U.S. Court of Appeals for the 11th Circuit. NBC2 did reach out to Big Sugar's attorneys for a comment on this petition. But we are still waiting to hear back. Reporting in Fort Myers, Mohammed Abdulkawi, NBC2.